Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for today's Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the clear cover for structure element. So first of all to define what is clear cover. Let's take an example of beam. Let's, this is any beam and this beam, it's a simply supported beam let's take and there is a reinforcement provided here for the beam at the bottom of the beam. So this reinforcement is always provided at some distance from the bottom of the beam and this distance usually is in millimeter and this distance in millimeter is called as the clear cover. Clear cover. Also if we take an example of column, if this is any column, so if we provide the reinforcement in the column, let's suppose this is any col uh, column reinforcement. So there is some distance from the edge of the column to the reinforcement start and this distance in millimeter and this distance is called as the clear cover. Similarly from the other side there will be some distance from the edge of the column to the reinforcement. So this distance is called as the clear cover and this distance is usually in millimeter and we provide this clear cover to avoid the corrosion of the reinforcement. Otherwise the if there are small, small cracks produced in these beams with the time so the water will penetrate into the beam and they will and they will start the corrosion process within the beam. So to avoid the corrosion process within the reinforcement of the beam we provide some distance for the reinforcement from the bottom of the beam so that to stop the corrosion process and this distance is known as the clear cover. It is also provided in every structural member that's either beam, column, slab or staircase or maybe footing. And the maximum clear cover is provided for the footing. The footing is a general clear cover of 50 millimeter and this is the high value for the element, for this element. Then we have for column it is 40 millimeter. And then for water retaining structure, if you water retaining structures we provide this is from 25 to 30 millimeter. For the retaining wall, this distance, this clear cover is 20 to 25 millimeter. And for the beam, this clear cover is usually is 25 millimeter. Also for the shear wall, this distance is 25 millimeter. While for the slabs, slabs, this distance is usually is 15 millimeter, which is the least value for the structure element. And also for the staircases, this value is also 15 millimeter. So for the different structure elements, we have different clear cover values. The footing is mostly exposed to the water because it is under the soil so we have more chances for the water to penetrate that's why we have higher value of the clear cover. The higher the chances of water penetration the more value we provide for the clear cover so that to avoid the corrosion process within the structure element. Then the column have 40 millimeter, the water retaining structure have a value have a range of 25 to 30, then the retaining wall also have 20 to 25 and the beam and shear wall has the 25 millimeter clear cover while for the slab and staircase they have the least value of 15 millimeter and this these values are the general recommendation from the different codes hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching my video